Okay, so now we've done the shape tween and the classic tween, we're going to go into doing the motion tween. And the motion tween is basically the classic tween, but it's been re really kind of made for CS5. Um, as you can see from the classic tween, we had to make these classic, um, I mean, these keyframes ourselves and um, just create the whole thing from scratch. Whereas with the motion tween, it kind of builds it for you and wherever you want to move it you can move it and you can also change the, the route that it goes on which I'll show you in a second but first of all we're going to create a new layer um, two new layers actually uh, we're going to call one text motion and the other symbol motion so now we've got that um, we're going to go to file and import, import to library. Like I said in the previous tutorial, we're going to be using the library. We're not just going to start copying and pasting to the stage because it's a lot easier this way. So once we've imported, we're just going to import any picture that we can find, so that one. And then that will show up in our library here, capture one. And that's the VT for case 3 logo. So now it's a JPEG file and you won't be able to actually tween this but as you can see from here when I insert it I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller by using the free transform tool so just about that small now I'm going to come here and I'm going to insert or create a motion tween now this dialog will come up just saying that we can't do it because it's a JPEG file and it'll ask us if we want to convert it to a symbol so we do want to and then the symbol shows up in your library and we'll actually delete this from our stage back into the first and we'll drag the symbol this time which it created which is the same image and we'll go here and we'll move it just to here and you can see this little line has come up. Now that's that's basically lining out the route the motion tween will actually do for this image. So you can click on the selection tool and you can actually drag um, you can see the curvy line come up under the, la the arrow and you can make kind of a, a bendy shape. So now it will kind of go in that kind of way. So we'll just move this a bit further on. So now it will start here and end here. Now back in now into our text motion, I'm just going to add simple bit of text here, which is going to say video tutorials. And same again using the selection tool. I'm just trying to show you that you can do it with text as well. So we'll just do create motion tween and we will go straight to the bottom and you can see it's kind of built this pink line that's just basically because it doesn't, Flash doesn't want to get you mixed up with the um, other tween, the other motion tween within the movie so once again you can curve it so it kind of goes in a certain shape and now if you go to file and save you've got your shape tween that's here Square, and then you've got your classic tween, which is a bouncy ball. You've got your motion tween with a symbol, and you've got a motion tween with text. So now we can go to Control and Test the Movie in Flash Professional, and it's now exporting the movie. And there you have it. This is the movie that you just created within the tutorials. You've got your shape tween over here. It's tweening from a square into a circle. You've got your classic tween bouncing off the floor here uh, with, with the easing tool that we used earlier and you've got your motion tween that's actually going in a certain direction curling and the same with the text motion tween. So there you have it, that's your first um, Flash movie and I hope you enjoyed making the 
movie yourself if you've been keeping up with it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. There might be a few more Flash tutorials just going on the simple principles within Flash and maybe using a bit more of a library and where you can store all your files. Thank you. Bye.